Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Alleviation, Beta Edu, says the federal government will launch the conditional cash transfer policy for 15 million households on October the 17th, 2023. Edu made this known while speaking to journalists on Sunday, months after the federal government had stopped the payment of subsidies on petroleum. According to her, the ministry is working with stakeholders across the country to get a credible register of beneficiaries. She said this was uh, necessary to ensure that those who are on the national social register truly are Nigerians who spend within the range of $1.95 a day and deserve to have it. To discuss this further development, economist Hawa Mohamed Mustafa pardon me, joins me on the news. Thank you for your time, Mrs. Mustafa. Now, what are your thoughts on the federal government's income distribution, that's the conditional cash transfer, and how much impact do you think it would have on the beneficiaries? Well, thank you for having me. Um, I think it's better to have some little than nothing at all. That's the starting point. So and, uh, I think to some extent, uh, the struggle of the people has um, has achieved some gains. The initial amount the government wanted to give each household was 8,000 Naira. And to have moved from 8,000 Naira to 25,000 pounds. I think to some extent, it is commending. However, however, I look at 35,000 Naira per household per month. The average size of a household in Nigeria is about five. If you therefore say 35,000 Naira per household, if you divide that per each average person in that household, you're talking about 7,000 Naira per person in a month. That amounts to less than 250 Naira per day for, an, for a member of that household. And you begin to wonder, this household that is being targeted is assumed to be the poorest of the poor. 15 million of this household are expected to be among the 133 million Nigerians that have been under multifaceted, under multinational poverty, and among the host, the other 75 million Nigerians that are living in abject poverty. And you begin to wonder, really, less than 250 naira per person 